Good afternoon, St. Charles West. Welcome to this week's exciting episode of Tribe TV. I'm your host, Brandon Darty, and joining me now in the studio is Ben Woods. Thanks for being here, Ben. Thank you. So tell us the theme for the month again. Uh, this month's theme was documentaries. And you did your documentary over Garrett, correct? Yeah. What went into making your documentary? Um, a lot of work. It actually took a lot of time because he uh, ended up being sick one day, so we kind of had to work on it last minute, but it ended up being pretty good. And tell us, what was the hardest part in making your documentary? Uh, the hardest part probably getting him, probably finding him his time to film. He had a busy schedule with bowling and his work, so he had to get time for him to bowl. And is there anything you'd like to add before we watch it? Uh, no. Enjoy St. Charles West. Bowling, a sport that is in the gutter of most people's mind. But most people aren't Garrett Schaff. Many people don't know about the bowler who roams through the halls of St. Charles West. What do you think about Garrett as a bowler? Uh, Garrett's a really good bowler. He has a good average, he's a good team player. Um, who's better, you or him? Him. Him, okay. And then, how many times have you beat him? Um, not very often. It happens. If it happens, it happens because he's struggling that day, but it doesn't happen very often. Okay. Would you say he's the best bowler in your league? Uh, one of them, yes. After talking to Steven, we decided to interview Garrett about what he thought about himself when it comes to bowling. I'm here with Garrett Shaw, junior bowler. All right, so Garrett, when did you start bowling? I started bowling when I was eight years old, so nine years ago. Okay, so we talked about two or three weeks ago, and you said your best score was about a 299. Has that changed since then? It has. My new high score is a 300, which is a perfect score. Okay, and then um, who is your favorite bowler? Oh, it has to be Pete Weber, PDW, the man, the myth, the legend. And is he from around here? He is. He's from St. Anne, Missouri, which is just outside St. Louis, right by the airport. Okay. Well then, who got you into bowling? Like, who started you off? Uh, I'd probably have to say my parents. I always went with them Sunday nights to watch them bowl, and I just got the hang of it, liked it, tried it. Okay. Well then, and how often do you practice bowling? Uh, well, I bowl three days a week. I'm in three leagues, but... Outside of my leagues, I really don't practice that much. Okay, okay. So, and then, who is the best bowler in your family? In my immediate family, I would have to say me, because I'm the only one with the 300, but in my expanded family, I'd have to say probably my uncle. He's got like 15 to 20 300s. Okay, okay. If you would rank yourself among other junior bowlers, how would you compare to them? I think I'd, I would put myself right near the top, uh, average-wise and experience-wise. I think I'm pretty good. Okay. Then what do you do outside of bowling? Like, do you have any favorite sports teams or? Obviously, the Chicago Bears, Chicago Cubs, anything Chicago. All right. All right. So, what are your goals for the future when it comes to bowling? Uh, one goal is to go to college to bowl, bowl in college, and then ultimately become a professional and do it on a daily basis. Okay. And then um, what colleges are you looking at for bowling then right now? Uh, 